to an educational series about crypto, presented by Crypto Dungeon. What is crypto? Cryptocurrency is a digital payment system that doesn't rely on banks to verify transactions. It's a peer-to-peer -peer system that can enable anyone, anywhere, to send and receive payments. Instead of physical money being carried around and exchanged in the real world, cryptocurrency payments exist purely as digital entries to an online database describing specific transactions. When you transfer cryptocurrency funds, the transactions are recorded in a public ledger. Cryptocurrency is stored in digital wallets. Cryptocurrency receives its name because it uses encryption to verify transactions. This means advanced coding is involved in storing and transmitting cryptocurrency data between wallets and public ledgers. The aim of encryption is to provide safety and security. How do cryptocurrencies work? Cryptocurrencies run on a distributed public ledger called a blockchain, which is a record of all transactions and what is being held by currency holders. The first cryptocurrency was Bitcoin, which was founded in 2009 and remains the best known today. Much of the interest in cryptocurrencies is to trade for profit, with speculators at times driving prices skyward. Proof of stake versus proof of work. In proof of work, units of cryptocurrency are created through a process called mining, which involves using computer power to solve complicated mathematical problems that generate coins. Users can also buy the currencies from brokers, then store and spend them using cryptographic wallets. This is a very secure method of running a blockchain, but very costly in terms of energy consumption. Bitcoin is the best example of this. Proof of stake. Proof of stake is a cryptocurrency consensus mechanism for processing transactions and creating new blocks in a blockchain. The consensus mechanism is a method for validating entries into a distributed database and keeping the database secure. In the case of cryptocurrency, the database is called a blockchain, so the consensus mechanism secures the blockchain. Ethereum recently transitioned from proof of work to proof of stake. Understanding proof of stake. Proof of stake reduces the amount of computational work needed to verify blocks and transactions. Under proof of work, it kept blockchain secure. Proof of stake changes the way blocks are verified using the machine of coin owners, so there doesn't need to be as much computational work done. The owners offer their coins as collateral, staking for the chance to validate blocks and then become validators. Validators are selected randomly to confirm transactions and validate block information. This system randomizes who gets to collect fees rather than using a competitive reward-based mechanism like proof of work. Differences between proof of stake and proof of work. With proof of stake, cryptocurrency owners validate block transactions based on the number of stake coins. Proof of stake was created as an alternative to proof of work. The original consensus mechanism used to validate a blockchain and add new blocks. While proof of work mechanisms require miners to solve cryptographic puzzles, proof of stake mechanisms require validators to hold and stake tokens for the privileges of earning transaction fees. Proof of stake is seen as less risky regarding the potential for an attack on the network, as it structures compensation in a way that makes it an attack less advantageous. The next block writer on the blockchain is selected at random, with higher odds being assigned to nodes with larger stake positions. Cryptocurrency has many other uses besides being used as a currency for transactions. A decentralized way of storing information. A new version of the internet, Web 3.0. Direct democracy. A decentralized way of storing information. Cryptocurrency is not just about money, but this is an important aspect of it. When you store your money at a bank, you are not in control of this. The bank is. With crypto, money is stored in your wallet and always under your control. Decentralized finance, or DeFi, means that you can lend or borrow money from other individuals without working with a bank. Money is not the only useful aspect of cryptocurrency. Social media, for example, can be decentralized on a blockchain with the user controlling their information, unlike a large social media company like Facebook, who can monetize and sell your information. Medical records can also be stored on a blockchain, where the user is in control and can decide who they want to share their personal medical information with, instead of the healthcare company that holds their record. Other uses of cryptocurrency. There are blockchains that allow artists and musicians to market and monetize their work to a large audience. Gaming is being developed on blockchains and is growing rapidly in terms of adoption. Web 3.0. A term that is being thrown around recently is Web 3.0. This is being used to describe how blockchains will become the new internet of the future. With the original iteration of the internet, users could read the internet, but not directly manipulate it or post content to the web easily. This was changed with the more recent version of the internet, 
where users can post content on blogs and social media or create their own websites. The issue with the current version of the internet is centralization. It can be controlled by large companies or governments and manipulated based on their own agendas. With Web 3.0 using blockchain technology, the internet will not be controlled by a single entity or large groups rather than all of its users who control their own information and money in a secure wallet that only they can access. Governance. One of the most important aspects of a proof-of-stake blockchain is governance. Token holders on the blockchain all get a vote when governance proposals are made, and anyone can make a governance proposal by making a deposit of their own tokens. Voting is recorded directly on the blockchain and is completely trackable and not able to be manipulated. This has been brought up as an issue in various political elections recently, as there is no way to track voting currently. Governments could be using blockchain technology to remedy this. One of the responsibilities of a validator is to vote on proposals. Stakers to that validator delegate their votes to the validator who then votes for their stakers. Unlike most governments, however, if a staker disagrees with the validator's vote, they can vote over top the validator's vote and can always choose to stake with another validator. Stake. Blockchain users can stake their tokens for a designated time period to help secure the network. In exchange for removing liquidity for their tokens, they receive voting rights on a blockchain as well as interest on their tokens, which can vary between validators. Choosing a validator is important because if a validator acts improperly, they can be jailed or slashed, which means stakers will lose their ability to vote as well as interest until they redelegate to a new validator. Most validators will choose to act ethically because their own money is at stake, as well as they have to stake a large amount of crypto to become a validator. Crypto Dungeon is a validator for the Cosmos ecosystem, and we have our servers located in an underground data center, which has three backup internet connections, power backup, and backup servers, as well as staff on site, monitoring the servers 24-7. We are safe behind a very secure firewall and not accessible from the outside. This means we are not likely to be slashed or jailed for inactivity and provide a guarantee that we will compensate our stakers if this occurs. We have a goal of providing crypto education to help increase adoption. We plan to continue to publish videos like this on different subjects. We are not financial advisors and provide no financial advice whatsoever. Users of our network can choose to stake with us because we are trustworthy and always act with the highest level of ethics. Our eventual goal is to bring live action role playing to the blockchain ecosystem. To learn more about us, visit www.cryptodungeon.org. We are Crypto Dungeon MA for Master on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.